Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. I have a product empties video here for you, and not all of these products are actually empty. Some of them are half used and are gonna be getting donated to the women's shelter. If you didn't know, you can donate partially used products to your local women's shelter. Mine is the YWCA, and they have a program. You can go between certain hours on Mondays and Tuesdays, and you can give them half used products, as long as they're decent and clean. Of course, we're not gonna give them garbage. So just products that don't work for me and that I don't like so much, I will bring there and they are ever so grateful. So that works out really well. They also take clothes and stuff like that. Anyway, so we are gonna go through this as much as possible. There's a lot in here. I might need to do a second video. This is actually a kind of fallout from when I did my vanity declutter and I never went through the stuff that I was gonna get rid of and it's just been sitting. So it's about time I got around to this video. First, I wanted to mention that I played with my Kylie lip kit that I got from the Ulta 21 Days, and that's what I'm wearing right now. I have tested it, and I wore it to work one day, and it lasted until about noon, and then I needed to touch it up. But it's here. This is it. The color is the collaboration with Ulta. It's called Ulta Beauty. It's, a lot of the other colors have a name that isn't just, you know, Ulta Beauty. But anyway, this is the collaboration with Ulta Beauty, but it's super pretty and it was the one that I chose. I did a whole video where I went on my journey to try to pick a color, so I will link that above me here. So that's what I'm wearing and I was playing with it before I started filming and I think it's super pretty. Like I said, it doesn't last all day. It wears really comfortably though, but by about noon it was it was gone and you have to reapply. So bring it with you if you're going to wear it. So I am just going to pick at random out of this box and talk to you guys about what is in here and I'm kind of kind of try to do like a rapid super fast kind of overview of each product knowing me that probably won't really happen I'll start going into all kinds of details you never would have expected but so this is Cetaphil this is actually full this used to be my tried and true skin cleanser and I discovered when I got into all this beauty stuff, I started looking really closely at ingredients and all of that, and I discovered that this is loaded with parabens. So I am not going to use this anymore. It's really sad. I loved this stuff, and I've used it since I was a kid, so I'm gonna donate this. This is the Moroccan Gold Series Treatment Mask. This came in the uh, FabFitFun Winter 2018 box. I believe everybody got it, and I used almost all of it. I just don't like the smell. Most people loved it, so I am alone in that. And then also, let me take a quick look at the ingredients. You know, there are worse ingredients in hair products. I don't like the smell very much. I find it to be too chemically, artificially smelling, and it overwhelms me. But the way it performed as a hair mask, it was okay. People really liked it though. I am in the minority, but I just I just couldn't get over how strong the smell was. If the smell's gonna be strong, I, I need it to be like an herbal natural kind of strong smell. That one is kind of chemically perfumey. So this is the Corez Mulberry Vanilla Body Butter, and this is an empty. I loved this. I got it in one of the very first FabFitFun sales I ever got anything in. And it is very thick, very rich. It is a body butter. It takes time to absorb. I haven't seen any of these recently in FabFitFun sales. They used to be in the sales fairly regularly and different kinds of scents were available. I This one also, as I learned more about ingredients, some people like to steer clear of pegs, which is really hard to steer clear of pegs. They're in practically everything. I will leave an article in the description box below of, that will tell you a little bit more about why you might want to steer clear of pegs. Uh, it's kind of one of those ingredients where if you can get away from it, you might as well. Oh, and I just brought it a formaldehyde releaser. Imid urea. I will flash that across the screen. It's a formaldehyde release So while I liked the product when I first tried it, and I liked the scent, mulberry vanilla, I smelled more berries than vanilla, but I learned that the ingredients are not uh, the kinds of ingredients that I want to 
put on my body anymore and I, that I'm trying to avoid. I'm not perfect. It's it's tough. It's tough. You get real fear of missing out when you start to exclude things like that. This is the Gringu Wild Rose uh, deodorant. And I talked about this in a recent video. It was a collab video I did with Chip from Moment with Chip. Hi, Chip. And we talked about our top five and, and five worst uh, products that we have used from FabFitFun. This one was one of my five worst because it does not work for me. I get really stinky by about 2.30. But if you are one of those people that is allergic to baking soda, you might give it a try and it could work for you because this one is baking soda free. This one, let's take a moment and giggle about the packaging. I got this when I first, first, first started opening my mind up to the world of beauty products a couple of years ago. And I don't remember why I chose to try this, but I got it online or maybe at Target it's not all that cheap. It is 3.4 ounces. It looks much bigger than that, but that just must be, much be it must be all the packaging. Uh, so, and it is a after party smoothing cream for silky, shiny, healthy looking hair. And what I was looking for at the time was a good product to touch up my second day curls. This it felt like it sat on top of my hair. It never felt like it absorbed and I felt like I had product in my hair. And I'm very, very picky with hair products and I really, really, that's one of my main things is I really love products where you put it in, your hair is dry and styled and then it doesn't feel like there's any product in your hair. That's what I go for. And this one, I could still feel it. It still felt like um, a film on my hands after touching my hair. I do know that some people really, really like this stuff. I didn't, I did, it didn't work for me. I tried it a few times. So I'm gonna donate this. This is the Living Proof Nourishing Styling Cream. This isn't empty. I th this is a wonderful, wonderful styling cream. Uh, Living Proof, if I'm doing cruelty free. I, have, I say it all the time, you guys are probably sick of it, but Living Proof is owned by Unilever, so while Living Proof's cruelty free, Unilever is not. So I try not to buy from Living Proof, but Living Proof products are wonderful, wonderful products, and this was a wonderful, wonderful styling cream. Just don't use it on top of a hair oil because it balls up but you're fine if you don't use it on top of a hair oil. This is my Dove deodorant. <laughs> I, I had a, like a five pack from Costco and once I discovered some natural deodorants that were working for me, I decided that I would just go ahead and donate all of my aluminum de deodorants. And while we're talking about deodorant, that's because I was sent this. This is Clay Dry by Zion Health. I have a code below and you can get 30% off or something. I don't get any money if you do if you use that code They sent it to me and I did do a sponsored video. This video is not sponsored by them And I will say it again. This stuff works. I did see that you can get it at Whole Foods So if you have a Whole Foods in your neighborhood and you don't want to order it online You want to go in and smell it. Uh, they did have it at the Whole Foods by my place and it, it works It works so well. There is baking soda in this one Okay, this is just really 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 old I can't really say how it works. This is probably um, 10 years old and it doesn't really matter how it works anyway because this line is discontinued. It's Alba Botanica. It's a hairspray. The, pro the PAO date, the PAO time frame, the, product, the period after opening, which means how long the product is good for after you opened, it is six months. So I've had it about 20 times too long. <laughs> So I just need to get rid of this. I will donate it. Maybe it will still work for somebody. I never really got into it. it I bought it during a time where I hardly used hairspray. I didn't even know where to begin using hairspray. And I'm, I still am kind of learning how to use hairspray effectively. Uh, so this is the Marula Pure Beauty Oil. This one in that video that I referenced that I collabed with uh, Chip from Moment with Chip. This is a deep moisture hair mask. I am donating this. I did not finish it. They had some other hair products uh, available in the recent FabFitFun sales, some other hair products. This is not a good hair mask. I didn't feel like it did anything for me at all. The smell was all right, but it was mostly, no, it, I didn't like the smell very much either. It's okay, the smell's okay. The smell is something I could have gotten on board with had I liked the mask itself, but the mask did not feel like it did anything for me. And I mentioned this before as well, but it's the same, it's the same company that makes this amazing facial oil. This facial oil is absolutely to die for, but this is the one hair product I've tried of theirs and I, nope, oh, thank you. So I'm donating that. This, this is really too bad. This is Terra Mer. I was excited about this. 
This is their Active Coconut Charcoal Clarifying Cleanser. So it looks like that. If you saw my fall FabFitFun unboxing, I got this as an add-on and I was so disappointed because nowhere did I see on the sale or anywhere else that it said it was for oily skin. I saw that when I opened it on my uh, video, in my video, and I decided to try it anyway. And so it's fine. It still works just fine on my skin. My skin is dry. I have dry skin. I just didn't like the way it smelled. The first time I used it, I was actually kind of excited, thinking, oh, this is nice. I will get used to it. It is charcoal, so it looks like this see if that focuses it looks like that and it is kind of a creamy oily consistency and what I just can't get on board with really is that I don't feel like it's doing much for my skin maybe it's cleaning it sure but I don't feel like it's doing much for my skin and the smell at first I thought I could get used to it then it kind of reminds me of like a um, coconutty Malibu rummy kind of smell but without the rumminess of Malibu rum but and I don't really like to drink I don't like to drink alcohol so maybe that was part of my bias against not liking it I don't know I just and then and then it kind of reminded me that I was like uh and so I was tolerating it and then it got worse it was, it was, it was almost starting to nauseate me so for me I'm also I'm also very newly pregnant so maybe that's part of it but it was doing that before I knew that so I don't know I just I couldn't get past the smell so I am donating a very very expensive facial cleanser my guess is that this bottle is like probably to about here I didn't really put much of a dent in it so that was a big disappointment this was also in that video with moment with chip this is the Orly Bay dry shampoo I am getting rid of this before it's done I tried this maybe three times and as I mentioned in that video I feel like they just saw, sent me a can of air it it doesn't do anything and I am quoting somebody else from a FabFitFun forum post they said the same thing it feels like well they that's where I got it from they said it they felt like it they just sent them a can of air this I mean it's it's great except for that it doesn't take the grease out of my hair it doesn't leave a white cast it smells good it barely smells at all and yeah but it just doesn't take my hair still greasy so it's as though they sent a can of air it's really weird I, I think that there might have been some duds or something because people just love that stuff oh this is an empty this is the no BS vitamin C and E and ferulic acid serum and it's got pomegranate hyaluronic acid and green tea, green tea this was fine it was a fine serum to use and it was a little bit like mucus it had like a really mucusy consistency and so that was a little odd and then when you rubbed it if you rubbed it a little bit too hard there was like it could slightly ever so slightly foam which was kind of strange I wouldn't get this again I it was fine to use it was fine to use I've heard that their uh, cream that they had in the sales was amazing people were all over that when it was available but this one was just okay, and I didn't see anybody raving about it either. I just needed a vitamin C serum at the time. This is a Cosmetics Glow Bamboo Brightening Mask. I got this in a cause box, and I do not like lemon verbena. I do not like lemon verbena, and this smells like that. Other than that, it's an okay mask. It's an exfoliating mask, a physical exfoliating mask. It says, this brightening mask helps re remove dead surface cells for optimal absorption of brightening ingredients that help reduce the appearance of discoloration, uneven skin tone, and roughness for visibly smoother, brighter, and luminous looking skin. That's possible that it could do that over time. I just really don't enjoy the smell of this mask. And, you know, it really kind of bums me out that a lot of products won't make room on their packaging to put the ingredients right on here. I'm sure the ingredients were on the box this came in, but I don't see the ingredients to see what the brightening ingredients are. Maybe it's bamboo. I've never heard of bamboo being a brightening ingredient. This is the Cora's Sleep Mask. Cora's Wild Rose Vitamin C Brightening Sleeping Facial. This came in one of the past boxes. 
I want to say it was in the winter box and I ordered it. I ordered it as an addition to my box. I paid extra for it to also be included. I actually, to be honest, I think that this one's okay, but it's a sleeping mask and my husband really wasn't into the smell. So because, you know, I don't want to make him have to sleep next to a smell that he does not like, I'm going to go ahead and donate this. I hope that I donate it in time. It's Ooh, six months after opening. I think it may be expiring, but that just means, well, let's, I'll check it for mold before I donate it. Maybe I should put dates on this. I could write a date on the top in Sharpie. I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. Here's another deodorant. This is the Schmitz Charcoal and Magnesium Mineral Enriched Natural Deodorant. This one works. This one works for me. So it worked so well that I bought it in full size. <laughs> I had gotten this little sample guy months and months ago in a Target beauty box. I stopped getting Target and Walmart beauty boxes because I was just getting so many little samplers, just piles and piles I didn't know what to do with. But anyway, I got this in one of those and it worked and I got this at Marshall's for $4.99. So the Schmitz, the Schmitz Charcoal and Magnesium Deodorant worked for me. This is the Namaste Skin Turmeric Herbal Anti-Aging Moisturizer. I got this in a FabFitFun sale. This is a very gentle, maybe even unscented. The scent is so mild. It is, I, I enjoyed using it. It says that it's uh, best for normal to dry skin. I felt like it could have been more moisturizing. I have dry skin and I wanted a little bit more moisture. I found that I had to definitely put on an oil under this moisturizer to make sure that I felt fully hydrated. And then this one, the ingredients were also fairly decent. I have their face wash too that I'm working on and I think that their face wash has a peg in it, but the ingredients on this uh, are okay. They're okay. So this is this is good. This is by Cal Pharma, is the bigger company. They they make the Skin RX products that are sometimes available on the FabFitFun sales as well. Yeah, decent. It was five dollars in the sale too. So I'm donating this. This is the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray, and that's not because I think it's a bad product. I think it's just because I don't. I'm not. I'm not into texturizing sprays for my hair type. I. So far, I haven't used them and felt like I enjoy them. I mentioned that I don't want to feel like there's product in my hair after I use a product. And every time, the, all two times I've tried a texturizing spray, I actually tried this one and I tried the Oribe texturizing spray. My hair just isn't as touchable as I want it to be, even when I have my hair nicely straightened and everything. I feel like there's there's just like, it, my hair's dirty or something when I use the texturizing spray. I very much prefer using an oil after I've straightened my hair to get it to have that PC look. I'm not, I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll hang on to this and try this again. I don't think text texturizing spray is for me in general. Here's the R&Co Atlantis Moisturizing shampoo. I also had the conditioner. I threw that away because it finished first and I threw this in here So I remember to talk about it. I got this in a FabFitFun sale I thought that they were decent as shampoos and conditioners go. This also had a very fragrant chemically Artificial like smell that I couldn't get on board with I could smell it in my hair the entire couple of days after washing my hair, even after putting my styling product in, it was too strong for me and I didn't like it. But the, the actual shampoo and conditioner itself, they were good. This is Shama Nuti Seaweed Toner. And I got this in a Petervar box a while ago. And this is not done. It is one of those... <laughs> I just, I just think it smells like tortillas. I suppose I could keep this for travel, actually, now that I'm looking at it again. It's, it's, oh, it's mostly hyaluronic acid, so I could keep it for travel as my hyaluronic acid. I'll probably do that now that I'm looking at it. Okay, this is the Urban Skin RX Combination Skin Cleansing Bar. I got this on a FabFitFun sale and I remember seeing that it had really amazing reviews and I think maybe I misread something. It's okay. It is, it's like soap that's poured in here and then it hardens and then you're supposed to wet this little pad that it comes with and rub it around and then rub it on your face and 
I mentioned when I talked about it before a while back is that this is very much of a physical exfoliant, this little sponge, and I don't like to physically exfoliate my skin daily, let alone twice a day. I wash my face twice a day. Some people say that that's too much, but I like to. But I wash my face twice a day, so to do that so often was was a big turn off to me. The actual soap was all right. What I wish I could do, maybe I can, is like carve this out and just keep this as a bar of soap. I want to get it out of here. I want to get it out of this little tub and then just use it like I use a bar of soap for my face. Maybe I can do that, just with a knife or something. I might try to figure that out, because I only used this a couple times. I just didn't like to feel like I was physically exfoliating my face so much. This is Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. This is another one like the Cetaphil. Cetaphil, Cetaphil, I don't know how to say it. I hear it pronounced both ways. But this is another one like that, where it's like the old school, tried and true thing. And then you look, and it's like, oh my goodness, there are paraben parabens. And there's a formaldehyde releaser in here I'm just seeing now too. So the ingredients on this stink. I am gonna donate this. This one actually, oh, and it's owned by Unilever. What do you know? So let's see, this one might be expired. I've had this a very, very long time, but it doesn't seem to have an expiration date on it or a time period. It, it, nope, it's good forever. <sighs> oh, this is the Unique Moodstruck Epic Mascara. I got this in an Influencer Best of 2018 box. Influencer is a website where you go on, you review a whole bunch of products, and if you review enough and you have enough of a social media following, you can get free stuff sent to you. That's how I get free stuff sent to me for videos. Now this was included in that box, and Unique is an MLM. It's, um, I don't want to offend anyone by using the wrong terms, uh, so it's, a, it's an MLM, it's a multi-level marketing scheme. The word scheme makes it sound bad, and I'm not trying to have provide any commentary on MLMs, but because MLMs are, it's like Avon or Arbonne or those kinds of companies, um, or what was that one clothing line? LuLaRoe, LuLaRoe, those are all MLMs. You, the problem with MLMs with some makeup and things like that is that the sellers can go on and leave reviews, so you can't quite trust the reviews. That's why I think that this might have had such a high rating, so high of a rating that it was included in the best of 2018 box that you could buy for $50 and there was a whole bunch of stuff in that box. It was amazing. I found it to be really flaky. So I am going to donate this. These are the Superstay Matte Ink Maybelline Lip colors. You know, I kind of, I sometimes I do this and I feel like I want to give things another try because I look at these and I'm just like, look at how cute I want it to work. So Maybelline, I bought these because Maybelline had, they had discontinued my favorite color of this one. This is a really, really great line of long lasting lipsticks. Maybelline is not cruelty free though. So if you're doing that, then I wouldn't recommend buying it. I bought all of these before I made the decision to try cruelty free. So I will swatch these for you. I didn't like wearing them because they're just one of those matte lipsticks that really is incredibly drying and just doesn't work. I did try these before I started to exfoliate my lips and before I wore moisturizer on my lips nightly. So maybe I should give the, these another try. So that's that color. What is that color? Seductress. I watched this YouTuber Beauty by Emily Fox and she has a video where she does a swatch and try on of like all of their colors. So I will link that video in the description box below. And then this color is called Lover. I want to show you how it goes on. So it goes on really, really well. I just remember when I tried them, they dry down so matte and so dry, it's almost like the way a mud mask dries down <laughs> is how I felt. I was newer to makeup at the time, so this is another one like the texturizing spray where I'm thinking, Maybe I should give it another try. Maybe I wasn't fair. So I'll put those over here. So this is a Rusk Therma Shine Spray. And my sister-in-law was so nice to give this to me. I mean, she was partially used, but I was asking her what she does in her hair. She has similar-ish hair to me, which is thick and long and curly and coarse. She 
had this with her and she said, why don't you just take this, try it. I have learned that I'm very, very sensitive to sprays, hair spray products, not just hair spray, but spray products for your hair. And this one is suffocating. Even after I used it, like a couple hours after I used it, I still felt suffocated by my own hair. So it could have just been also something about the scent. I, I want to spray it so that I can remember what it was about it, but I don't want to spray it so I can remember what it was about it because it was so awful. Uh, but she really likes it. This is a thermal shine spray, so you, it's a heat protectant. Anyway, she likes to use it to touch up her hair though, and you can get it at Marshalls. This is Marshalls $9.99. I feel like I should just give this back to her. These are the Beauty Crop Lip Brew at Brulee. High Shine Lip Cream. They're lip glosses, and I got these in a FabFitFun sale, and I did a whole dedicated video to trying these out that I will link above me here. I'm trying to open this, and I have just learned that I'm not much of a lip gloss person. I just don't, I don't like reapplying my lipstick. I don't like transfer lipstick that transfers. I know these are, these are glosses, but I don't like reapplying glosses. I don't like lip gloss that transfers. I like to be able to, you know, sip my drink without worrying about it getting around the rim of the glass and then taking another sip and then eating some of the lip gloss accidentally. I just don't like it. It's not for me. So these are actually pretty decent colors, pretty decent lip glosses, beauty crop, but I am going to give these to the women's shelter and hopefully some woman in need can use them to have a moment where she feels a little bit better about herself in the world. This is a bright and easy flash mask, pomegranate and alfalfa gel mask, a powerful fast acting enzyme face treatment for clear vibrant skin. So this is just a little sample that I got in a Pediver box and it was a gel mask and it was it's pomegranate, I said. Did I say that? Yes, pomegranate. And it actually, it smells like pomegranate and alfalfa. It really does. And it was very pleasant to use. It was a pleasant jaw mask. So look out for the brand Ursa Major. They're cruelty-free, non-toxic, and I think they're starting to be in beauty boxes more and more. Uh, maybe, maybe they are. Maybe you're thinking, yeah, they're all over the place. <laughs> okay, so this came from Pediver as well. This is a Be Kind, and it's a facial scrub. It's a physical exfoliant, hibiscus and cranberry seeds face scrub for soft and refreshed skin. The the feeling of this was fine, but I, it smells like it smells like when you walk into a newly finished, newly built house. That smell, you know, the wood and the paint, <laughs> and which is a nice smell when you walk into a newly built house, but not when you're in your shower wanting to use this product. I almost wonder if somehow it had gone bad. It was it wasn't overwhelming, but that's what the smell smelled like to me. It definitely wasn't hibiscus and cranberry. Okay, this is Blossoma. This is a clay renewal treatment. I have mentioned this a couple times in my channel, and this is from Pettigrew as well. This was a sample of a clay mask. This was all right. It smells, it smells herbal, which is wonderful. Herbal spa-like. I like my clay masks to really dry up and really feel like they're sucking out toxins and this one didn't do that. It was still not quite dry after the wear time and it was it was an okay clay mask. I didn't I wouldn't recommend going out and buying it unless you like a more gentle clay mask that doesn't do what I just described. So that then heck yes, this one's for you. This is my Le Prunier. So this came in my first ever Pediver box. It's a little little oil. It's plum oil. This little guy right here, if you buy it, retail price is 20 bucks. My dear friend, Lauren, hi Lauren, <laughs> surprised me with a shipment of goodies. And one of the things she sent me was the full size La Prunier. I have it right here, ready, ready and waiting for when I finish up the Marula facial oil. This stuff is pure heaven. Oops, I opened it upside down. This stuff is pure heaven to use. It's not cheap. I sure hope she got it on sale. And I practically cried when I opened it. This stuff is amazing. If you can spring for it, it smells like heavenly cherry garden amazingness and it feels so nourishing on the skin. I am so happy to have discovered it. If there was ever a reason I joined Pediver, it was to discover this facial oil. Okay, that's enough about that one. This is definitely empty. And then one last thing. 
This is the Tula Probiotic Skincare Kefir Moisture Repair Pressed Serum. This was a hot ticket item. Everyone was after it in one of the sales in FabFitFun. I think it was a spring sale. And I have talked about it a couple of times. It doesn't smell like much, but I think I've, I have a lot of scents going on. The first, oh, I wish I had the ingredients list, but like the first two or three ingredients on this are silicones. This is something that you're supposed to use AM and PM as a one-step serum and moisturizer. When I talked about it before, I did miss that it's a one-step serum and moisturizer. So I had mentioned that I don't like silicones in my nighttime skincare. If I'm gonna be okay with them, maybe I will be okay with them in my last step moisturizer so that the silicones can have, help trap in all the moisture. But even then, I just don't want that artificialness on my face at night. So this is a one step serum and moisturizer. So it would be the last thing that you put on. I was saying that if you use this as a serum because it's just called serum, so I was misled by that. If you just use it as a serum, then you would be putting on silicones before you would be putting on your moisturizer and therefore creating a barrier for your moisturizer. But that said, I don't think that this is moisturizing enough. I don't think that this will do what I need it to do. So I still don't really like it. I would say if you wanted to use it in the morning as a primer, Natalie, hi Natalie, she's a subscriber friend and she mentioned that she might, she might try to do that. This would probably be really good in the morning as a primer, a one-step serum, moisturizer, and primer. So that's how I could see maybe getting some use out of this if you decide that you don't want to use the silicones at night as well. So that could work. That could really work. Oh, you know what? I will give this a mention. So I was contacted by this company called Just Be, J-U-S-T-B-E. That's what their name is right there, just to be. And they wanted to send me some of their hair clips to mention in my channel. And I said, sure, send them. I'll, I'll give them a couple mentions. And they're really, really pretty. They're these little hair clips. And there are five on here. And you know, they're costume jewelry, but they're very sturdy. They're, they seem very well made. So here's one of them. Here's another. So these would be really a really lovely gift if you have like a 12 year old girl or boy, 12 year old, who, whoever is so inclined, a 12 year old or even like someone who's going to prom or something like that. Let me show you the rest. Help out this company. I think that these are $9.99. I'll leave a link to the Amazon listing as well. I get no money. I'm just doing them a favor. See, they're so pretty, and they're, like I said, they do not feel cheap. So that's the last thing I'm gonna talk about. This was an epic video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Introduce yourself in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.